Believe it or not, the UK and EU may have just inked a Brexit trade deal. Let's get right to Yahoo Finance's Kumita Ramanathan for more. Kumita. Highly anticipated. We have been waiting for the last few hours here in the UK to get any sort of sign of some progress in these trade talks. And now reports are coming out, as you mentioned, they were poised to get a deal and have UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson announce it within minutes, within the next hour. Now, the news of course, music around sentiment around a Brexit deal has been positive overall. The FTSE closed higher today. FTSE mid-caps are actually up about 0.9%. It was a record high for the mid-caps. Rather, let, let me correct that. That's 10-month high that the FTSE mid-caps had reached. And that says the markets were getting more and more confident about a deal. Now, this happened overnight. Negotiations continued. Brexit and the uh, fishing points were one of the most important sticking points that were holding back from a deal being brokered. But obviously, a deal is coming. We don't know what size the deal is going to be and how hard the UK is going to have to stick to it. But at least some agreements have been made. Yeah. And all of this is going on as still the UK is trying to get its arms around this new strain of coronavirus and the continued spread there. What's the latest on restrictions? I think I would call it COVID fatigue. That's essentially what has settled in here in the UK. Of course, we had news of yet another strain, as you mentioned, Julie, here in the UK. This time it's been linked to Africa. And, uh, you know, the, the fear here is that there could be others and what that's going to do in terms of further restrictions. Right now, tier four restrictions, the highest that the UK has, is actually going to go into place after Christmas. And that means that as well as the southeast, the east of England is going to be very much facing higher restrictions, and that is really going to impact the quality of life that people are facing here in the UK. But what is good news overall is that the health secretary is saying that they expect that the vaccine that has been rolled out and the immunization program as a whole is going to be able to combat these latest strains. But still, as I mentioned, very, very disconcerting news for the markets as a whole, but something that we have to inevitably deal with in some form. What are we going to talk to you in the morning about now? With uh, now that we have a trade deal, I never thought we would actually see this thing. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we'll, we'll be talking about something positive. I would say it would be the weather, but you know, I am in London, so that, that's not something that we usually talk about here. <laughs> I like the positivity. We'll we'll leave it there. Kumara Ramanathan, good to see you.